Welcome to this segment of the program. Inuagata Nosaha is still my name. So happy to come your way this morning and make your day a premium value one. Now, the topic of our conversation this morning is six ways to retain your best performing talents. Six ways to retain your best performing talent. You know, as a business leader, as an employee, as an employer, as a business leader, for you to be able to continuously drive success and uh, create competitive advantage, you need your best hands to always be on the plow. You need your best hands to always be on deck. You see, it is costly to lose your best hands. It is costly to lose your best employees because you are going to spend time and money to advertise for vacancy. You are going to spend time and money to go through the rigors of the recruiting exercise, the interview, and what have you. You are also going to spend, you know, time and money, you know, to, time and money is also going to be wasted when, you know, you are recruiting, you are uh, advertising vacancy, time and money is also going to be wasted because of that, you know, gap that has been created by the person that left, you know, by that employee turnover situation. You know, there's going to be a drop in productivity. You are taking time to recruit. You are taking time to advertise. You are taking time to train. Time and money is also going to be spending, you know, training and trying to get the person onboarded and get the person used to, you know, what you expect from him or her. Time and money, you know, is being spent to achieve all that. And why this is going on, there is certainly going to be drop in productivity because there is a gap created, you know, by the person that left. And at the end of the day, you see that it's a lot of cost for you. So you as a business leader, you as a business manager, you as an employer, you need to make sure that you put some things in place to retain your best performing talent. And this morning, like I said, we are looking at six ways to retain your best performing talent. And the number one way is for you to see your people as human beings that they are, not just as human resources. You know, when you look at people from the perspective of human resources, you know, they are like tools for achieving organizational goals, of uh, achieving corporate goals and all that. But when you operate with them from the perspective of the fact that they are human beings that they are, you know, you bring emotional intelligence into the equation. You know, emotional intelligence is your ability to be able to manage your own emotions and also manage the emotion of other people. Now, your team members and colleagues, you know, within the context of this conversation. So when you operate with them as human beings that have feelings, human beings that have emotions, human beings that have families, they have spouses, they have wives, and they have children, they have husbands. When you relate with them from that perspective, you know, you create an atmosphere and a culture you know, that will make them perform at their best. This is very important. There is no way we will talk about this issue of relating with them as human beings, not, as, not just as human resources, without us also bringing the issue of the golden rule of employee engagement into the conversation. And the golden rule of employee engagement says that do unto your employees as you want them to do unto your customers. There is a way you want them to relate and interface with your customers. And that way is the way of respect. You should also model that before them so that they can replicate it to people. You know, they interface with people that come to the organization to engage the organizations or business services and also buy its product. This is very important. The number one way to retain your best performing talent is for you to treat them as the human beings that they are, not just as human resources. This is so key. Then the second one is for you to assign your employees to roles where their nature and nurture can be best expressed and maximized. This is very important. Where their nature and nurture can be best expressed and maximized. Now, what is their nature? Their nature is the natural giftings and potentials that they have. What is their nurture? Their nurture, you know, is the capacity, the skills they have been equipped with. There are some persons, as a result of their nature and nurture, they have no business dealing with people, you know, interfacing with customers. They should be behind the scene. They should be behind the scene working with machines and equipment. But those people with the nature of empathy and the nurture of human relation should be at the forefront interfacing with customers and relating with people. This is just so important. Then the third one is for you to have uncommon rewards for uncommon performance. 
uncommon rewards for uncommon results. This is just so key. When people perform excellently, we're beyond expectation. Also reward them in ways that we amaze them and that we inspire more motivation in them. Then the fourth one, encourage problem sharing on assigned tax. When your people you know, are facing problems and challenges in, their, in the tax that have been assigned to them, they should not be ashamed to share it with their colleagues because it is popularly said that a problem shared is a problem half uh, solved. And so when they share it with their colleagues and people start contributing suggestions, they start contributing way out, he or she will certainly find a way out from those suggestions and ways out that are being contributed. Then the fifth one, avoid unjust conflict resolution. Never you resolve conflict in favor of the offender and against the offended. This will paint you in a very bad light. Then the concluding one, make sure that you model team culture before the people. The best way to drive team culture in any environment is for you, the team leader, to be an example of a team player. This will replicate and resonate around the entire system. And then you see yourself being able to create an atmosphere and a culture that will retain your best talent. I believe that lots of value have been added to you today, this morning. And just reach me so that we can take this conversation to the next level. My phone number is 80 6680 Those are the numbers on the screen, 80 If you are calling from outside Nigeria, add our beloved country code, plus 234-529-2920. One two zero plus two three four five two nine two nine one two zero. I'll be seeing you next week Wednesday, and when I return, I will remain the amiable Inuagata Nosahai. God bless you. All right, thank you.